Hi, and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of how to calculate the kinetic energy of a moving object. Right, so let me show you guys how this works. First of all, reset. And let's enter baby 12 in there. And let's assume the speed is about seven. So all we then need to do is just click on kinetic energy to get how many joules we have in there. So we have 294 joules. That is the kinetic energy that this system is using. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and we put one of these together. So let's exit out and we'll start a new project. Okay, we're starting a new project. I'm going to click on create new. There. And this dialog box pops up. I'm going to select a visual basic right there. And then click on next. There we go. So let's give our project a name. I'll just call that kinetic energy with that will be a VB kinetic energy there and let's click on create right there okay my development environment is ready the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to bother change the size of this form I'll just leave it like that but let's just click on the properties of the form right there and I'll go to the or let's just here you see the text I'm going to change that to kinetic energy calculator and the next thing I want to do now is let me change the icon let's look for the icon so let's go to the A to Z and look for icon here there we go that's the icon so I'm going to click on that just to get rid of this VB icon and I will enter my own icon there there we go that's my icon click on that and just add it there we go now come straight to the to the toolbox drop it down I'm going to grab or get hold of panel so I'm going to need about three of those hold on to your control click and drag that's two and three there this will be for the buttons now drag this right down I want to select the three panel there and let's go to auto size I believe okay now we go to the the okay border style change the border style to fix 3d there we go there and now the top panel there I'm gonna change that to, let's change the background color to get it blue go to the web and we should be able to find get that blue there so it's there somewhere there we go that's it now I'm gonna use the same thing for the button so copy that cadet blue and let's add buttons go right up here yeah I need three of those there okay so that's one and one more here so let's add labels come right down here one label one two three and four and also gonna add text box one two so let's change this to multiple or multi-line and this as well multi-line that's good all right you see this label we don't need to change the properties of that very label 
come right here we'll, you see where we have auto size we're gonna change that to false and the color back color I'm gonna make it something light and bonus time I'm just gonna make that fix 3d drag that is good let's add one label up here and all of this label select it all and let's increase the font size to maybe 28 or 24 make that bold 24 there we go and this label I'm gonna get rid of the text content on it come right down delete there and now let's change the names around so that I'm gonna speed that up okay now let's start with this so that you guys see how it's done then I just speed it all up increase the font size first and this is going to be bold 24 as well there we go and this will be known as calculator come right there no maybe this one BTN, BTN kinetic energy. Right, let's change that to kinetic energy. That will be fine. There. Grab this, that's going to be what is on the name. So here will be kinetic energy. You paste that in there. You click on that, and you should be able to calculate that. There. And this is going to be reset. This will be exit. There. So I'm going to speed that up. I believe you guys get the whole idea now. Okay. Okay, guys. This is how it's all looking now. But I'm going to change the color of these buttons to something a bit lighter. So come in here and maybe button highlight repeat the same thing for this there we go now let's double click on this button and declare some variables okay right in there i'm going to declare a local variable right in there the very first one is going to be m m that will be for the mass then we declare a V that will be for the ve velocity and we declare K E that will be for kinetic energy I'm going to declare it as double right so M equals TXT mass dot text but I think I should convert it so let me cut this off and just get it converted let's say convert let's convert dot to double right open up a bracket paste there we go that's converted then the velocity as well I'm going to have to repeat exactly the same thing grab that the second text box box is called txt velocity dot text there and k e will be equals to we now need to say that will be 0 0.5 multiply that by m multiply by velocity squared there that is the formula to work out your kinetic energy now I need to add this straight into my LBL energy dot text I say equals let's convert that to string dot to string uh, what are we converting that's going to be lower case k and upper case there we go 
Okay, I think maybe I should add a unit of measure which is joules. Right. Let's put it all in a bracket and now try that out and let's see how that's going to work. Okay, there. So let's check how the if this lines of codes work so let's enter 10 in here and 5 here and there yeah, it's working so let's add a bit, a bit of space in there and space in there that's it so that's working that is the simple lines of code that you guys can use to work out your kinetic energy now Let's take care of exit. That is all. Oh, no, that will be reset. Okay, let's take care of the reset. So the reset, we just reset all of these. We grab that. Paste. There. Reset. Repeat the same thing for these two. Grab. Paste. Reset. And this last one. That's it. So reset is taken care of. Now let's take care of exit. Double click on exit. There I'm going to declare a variable and call that I exit as dialog result. There. Press enter. And let's say I exit equals message message box dot show. What do you want me to show? I want you to show as follows confirm, confirm if you want to exit. Now, let's that's the first argument, comma. The second argument, I'm just going to call that kinetic energy or kinetic. my second argument then the third argument that is going to be message box button dot yes or no and the fourth argument is going to be message box icon there we go and this icon is going to be as a dot question that's it I'm gonna press enter here so that you guys can see that's my that's the full argument that goes into this variable there. Now, let's use an if statement. If I exit equals dialog results dot yes, then application dot exit. There, that's the exit taken care of. I prefer my exit this way to prompt the user to confirm if they want to exit or not. Let's see how it works. Click on that. Would you like to exit? No. Yes, I want to exit. That is that taken care of. All right. Reset is taken care of. Exit is taken care of. The calculator is taken care of. So reset, reset. Now, that will give us an error. If I click there, we end up with error. But we want to be able to prevent something like that. So. First of all, let's check out the re reset. Enter some data in here. There we go. Reset works. Now, to be able to pre prevent that error, I'm going to select these two components in there. And let's go to a right click and look for their properties. There we go. Now, click on properties. That's properties right there. And let's select key press. There we go, that's key press. You can just double click on that or just say numbers only. Numbers only. And press enter. So what I've just done is I've grouped those two components together. And now I'm going to use if statement. If ASCII e.char, there we go. 
if it's less than and equals to 8 then then ask if the char should take in 48 which is equivalent to 0 and up to 50 57 if you hold on to your alt key and just go to your key area alt press 57 let's see what that will give you 9 all right that's fine it's working so i will now run the program it should prevent me from entering any character into these two text box so run let's see there you see i cannot enter whatever character in there anymore right we can use virtual keyboard so that you guys see what i'm talking about and that so run the program again and i'm going to get hold of my virtual keyboard as you right there and there we go click it here and let's enter whatever character and then look at that it's not happening okay but if i enter numbers there we go character seven okay we can close that this one we cannot enter anything so click on that there and that is how you create your own kinetic energy calculator Visual basic. So, with that, guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And um, please do subscribe to my channel, and you can also join to become a member of this channel. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.